What's up YouTube? This is my review on the Prodigy M4 mid-range disc. This one is in Proto-Ron plastic. So you just got the Prodigy Proto stamp there. The uh, model number is right in here, 179 M4. Um, a little bit steep, you can see the price tag there. Uh, but it is a prototype run and it's uh, brand new on the market so it kind of makes sense. Um, first thing I noticed picking this guy up after checking out the price and being like, oh, that's a little bit, <laughs> that's a little steep, is uh, the feel of it is fantastic. Just um, amazing feel to the plastic. Really great um, grippy feel to it. Um, it's got probably an average flex, you know, nothing too, uh, too crazy there. It's not super floppy or stiff. Uh, it's got a nice kind of all-around good feel to it, but the the polymer itself is very grippy. It has a very premium feel to it, like it would last a long time and uh, just be uh, a great flyer for for a long time. The uh, rim design is pretty similar in my experience to like a Buzz Buzz SS type type look to the to the rim shape and the profile of it. Um, very comfortable in the grip. Um, with my kind of modified grip, it, it lines up very well. It feels um, very natural in the hand. Oh, keep keep hitting the uh, tripod. Sorry about that. It feels very natural in the hand, and it's uh, uh, very uh, just very comfortable and controllable. Um, very easy to throw. Very easy to release on a nice smooth line. Um, in flight, it's very similar to uh, like a Buzz Buzz SS MVP Axis type flight. Um, very straight, holds the line you put it on until it starts slowing down and then it'll finish soft to the left. Um, I tested it alongside of my ESP Meteor out in uh, just a big open field and then I weaved it through some trees as well and just a uh, large uh, state, or, uh, city park out here in Portland. So uh, I was having a lot of fun throwing it though. It was really easy to, uh, to control and um, really, after just a few throws, I felt like I had a really good feel for it. I knew exactly what it was going to do, and I knew um, how to throw it to get it to hit the line I wanted, and it's very accurate. Um, just a very natural flyer. Um, if you are familiar with other mid-ranges like the ones I mentioned, this thing, you pick it up, uh, throw it in the bag. I don't think you'll have any trouble controlling it or uh, throwing it accurately. It's very, very familiar and easy to throw. Um, with a, uh, like I said, a really high level premium feel to the plastic. Um, so the price is a little steep for sure, but um, it's a really, really great feel to it. I would imagine it's going to be a little bit cheaper once they actually start producing larger runs of these things and uh, get them more dialed in. I would imagine the price would come down a little bit. Um, I don't notice much wear on it. There's a couple little scratches there. A little scratch there. I think that was from I was messing around throwing flick rollers, um, and it rolled up, bounced over the sidewalk, rolled out along the uh, asphalt, and like wedged underneath my car. Like rolled underneath my car and kind of got stuck underneath. <laughs> that was kind of funny, but I think that's what produced that little bit of damage. Um, but I've hit some trees with it, and I don't really notice too much there. So I think it'll be a real, uh, real durable plastic. Um, and just a, a great feel in the hand, like I said. So yeah, if you're looking for a new mid-range to try out, you know, you want something really uh, easy to throw, easy to learn, very straight flying, and uh, with that dependable kind of finish to the left, it's a very consistent disc. I felt like I could put it on the same line I wanted to time after time um, during testing and use of it so far. So I'm really impressed. I'm impressed with the Prodigy feel and uh, the, the mold, this mold so far. You know, we'll see what else they come out with. Um, look forward to them releasing some drivers that aren't 13 speed, you know, some slower stuff. Uh, that's what I prefer these days. So once that happens, um, good chance I'll pick one up from re for review, and I'll let you know, let you guys know my thoughts on it. But as for now, the M4 is a sweet disc. Not sure if it's going to go in the bag because it's very similar to my Axis. I have two of those two MVP Axis discs in my mid ranges in my bag. So you know, not really sure if this guy is going to go in there alongside them or if I'm going to sell it or trade it or just you know hold on to it as a collector kind of remains to be seen but um definitely impressed with it good disc uh very good flyer and definitely rec recommend uh checking it out so there's my review thanks for watching guys cheers